hello everyone welcome back to my little channel so today i'm gonna be doing my sister's nails and i wanted to start off by showing you guys how i shape the nail tip because some people have requested for me to like show my shaping and so i was like okay girlfriend let me show you how i do my oval my sister likes senora nails you know like i call them senora nails little ovals so this is the way that i do it I ended up applying her the regular coffin nail tips because I've noticed that um, whenever I do use these, the shaping for oval nails, it's so much easier um, because there's already some of the nail missing. Um, like it's not square square. I don't really have to like work too hard in shaping the nail and um, pretty much it's like very effortless. So I just wanted to mention that just in case you're going to be like, what the fuck? Did you already shape them coffin and then you're gonna shape them oval? No. You want to cut some time by um, using either pre-shaped nail tips or just forming them into a coffin shape and then um, forming them to oval. I personally prefer nail tips that are already pre-shaped and are on the thinner side because it is a lifesaver. Um, back in the day, there wasn't many like nail tips that were on the thin side. Um, so we had to like work extra hard to shape and shape and shape and over time it causes pain to your wrist so you want to make sure to take care of yourself don't do extra work that um, you're gonna regret later you know so if you have not subscribed to my little channel make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave me a little comment of what you learned during the video or if you have a question for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I will try my best to respond to you guys. And right here, I am applying the nail dehydrator. Um, so I have an ultimate prep trio. That's what I decided to call this. And pretty much is nail prep. The first white cap is nail dehydrator, which is very important for any nail enhancement, whether it's gel polish, um, gel, poly gel, whatever you want, you need to do this step. The second one is acid-based primer. Now, some people don't really use acid-based primers. It's not that common anymore because it was something that we used back in the day. But it's very good for people who have, like, problem with lifting, who have, like, um, oilier nail beds. And the third one is a um, no acid and doesn't burn or anything like that. So make sure that the acid base, you do not touch the skin. Um, so I like to use them in that specific order now. You could use the no burn twice or the other one, whatever you want. But that's just what works for me. And right here I'm using the Cover Nude Pink. Um, I had already decided previously exactly what I was going to do to this bitch. Because I was like, girlfriend, let me do your nails. And she came over to my house. And she's like... No, I don't want you to do my nails, but I was like, mm -mm, girl, we need content up in here. And she doesn't really like nails, so I was like, okay, fine. I'll let you take them off in two weeks because she can't really function once they grow up. So I was like, let me just do whatever the fuck I want, and then you could cut them off if you want to. So I decided to do her something kind of simple that she would kind of like. But, you know, girl, at the little bling and all of that, decoration that I like. And also, I wanted to use her as a model for my new, new color acrylics that I have and the new bling. So, she's going to be like a little sneak peek preview of what's new on my little store. Um, by now, I think I already put all the items on the website so that we don't have to be going back and forth. Because I know people be getting mad at me like, Zulay. I'm gonna put this on the store and I'm like girl hold on hold on so this time I went ahead and put it already on the website before the video is posted um, so right here I'm using this pastelish pink it's lighter than what it looks like on the video um well depending on which phone you're using because I feel like my Samsung Galaxy it be showing me like different colors but when I use my iPhone it looks like what it really is supposed to look like so in my phone I might see something different than what you're seeing but this is a light pink it's really cute it's number 11 and it's part of the new pastel colors that I um, released 
And I'm going to be doing all the pink part first because I'm going to be doing an ombre. And I've noticed that ombres just come out better when I do the tip first. Or, you know, like, I, I don't know, I always start here at the middle. So pretty much when you're doing an ombre, you want to make sure to um, apply the color halfway of the nail unless your client wants a little less or a little more but for the most part ombres should be towards the center of the nail and you want to make sure that you apply very thin amount of product because um if for whatever reason your ombre doesn't come out good the first time you can always go back and add a little bit more of the color or the nude you know back and forth and you do not file it off later on and also it's very important that you make the beginning of your color which is in the center of the nail, very, very thin, so that when you do add your following color, which right now is the nude, um, you do not see a harsh line. So you won't be able to see where the color starts or where the color ends. And I've mentioned this on the, on the video in the past, that um, when you're doing an ombre, make sure to add multiple beads. Don't just try to do one full bead. Um, so for those of you guys who don't speak in English, let me translate. Um, so cuando estamos haciendo un defuminado, um, a mí me gusta poner la, el color de acrílico a mitad de la uña y lo difuminas en la, en, how do you say it? Ay, mi español no está tan bueno. Um, a mí me gusta difuminarlo en el centro de la uña. Y luego le pongo el acrílico um, de tu, de tu, fuck, I'm not good at translating, only to say bad words. Nomás me sé las pinches malas palabras. So pongo el color neutral o el que tú quieras ahí, um, arriba del color y luego nomás lo difuminas delgaditamente. No, no apliques mucha presión porque te vas a llevar todo el pinche color. So, whenever you're doing an ombre, make sure to lightly blend the color. Do not apply too much pressure on your brush or you will bring the whole color all the way to the tip. Y pues, uno no queremos eso, queremos el ombre que se quede allí donde nosotros queremos. And work little by little because I personally just feel that the ombres come out a lot better when I work with a bead or two. So I made sure to record a couple of the fingers so you guys can see how easy it is and how thin I leave the nail because you don't want to work that hard girl and you don't want to use all your product either. So no hagan una uña muy gruesa, aquí lo va a decir en español. So pon el acrílico bien delgadito y aquí en esta parte tienes que adelgazar el acrílico un poquito más porque luego no quieres que se te vea la raya. Y no estoy hablando de la cola, <ríe> la raya de la uña. Y cuando pongas el color nude, um, ahí se te va a ver si no lo haces muy delgadito. Y en veces yo lo difumino con mi brocha hacia arriba, pero eso es más con los colores más pigmentados. Este no, I mean, es, sí es pigmentado, pero es muy fácil de, de hacer ten. So, aquí vas a poner tu color nude y luego con, con la pura puntita del pincel vas a difuminar para abajo. So, what I just said is that with the bristle, the, the tip of your brush, you blend down the acrylic. Now with the full body. And I think I have another video where I just talk about ombres. If you want to check it out, it's somewhere in December I think um, I, I show you how to do different kind of ombres and um, so now that I encapsulated it because somebody's gonna ask me if I encapsulated the nail yes I did girlfriend and I gave it the thickness with clear acrylic I'm showing you how I file the nails because people ask me um, to include that in some of my videos and I'm like, okay girl, I will do that for you But I'm only gonna do one finger because I don't want to put nobody to sleep with my filing So I normally file the top part of the nail First and then I go in there to shape it 
because if I shape the sides and then I do the top part, um, most of the time the the shaping is not as crisp as you want it to be, especially when you're doing like a coffin or a square. Um, so just a little tip, file the top part of the nail first and then shape. Let me know in the comments if you do the top of the nail first or the shaping, how do you like to shape your nails? There's not really a wrong or a correct or wrong way. It's all your technique. Everybody's different. And so right here I'm showing you guys my little extra fine bit. And this one I love, 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 love. It's my favorite. This one is super fine. So it removes the scratches on the nail. And because it has a soft tip, bitch, you will not cut your client. I'm sure somebody will still figure out a way. I bet if Raina uses it, she'll cut me. But for the most part, you will not hurt your client. It's super safe and super soft. Um, it's my favorite. And I like it because it does not shave off a lot of product. Um, so pretty much that's the difference between the bits. On my website, I do have extra fine, fine, coarse, extra coarse, or something like that. But it's all in preference. Some people don't really like bits that are super fine. So you could get the fine, you know. So it's up to you what you like. But I really like all of them. I use them for different purposes. And I wanted to include a little section so you guys could see how close I get to the cuticle. And this is the actual speed. I did not speed it up. So you could see all the little dust flying around. And the nails are already pretty much looking good I just had to go in there to file off the little scratches which is mainly what I use the bit for not really to like debulk it or anything like that um and now it's time for the flowers so these are the new acrylics uh actually number 25 I already had in the past so that one is not new but we did restock it because it was almost sold out and I'm using the number four brush or number two I do not remember but I did show it and all these products I'm gonna have them linked in the description because I know some of y'all like to just click and shop or whatever and I'm using the Zule bling adhesive to adhere these little I think they're like caviar beads but they're like half so if you ever struggle with those stupid balls girl struggle no more because these are half Half a ball is just like flat in the bottom. So I decided that I was going to add like three or four little balls together and that's going to be my center. Because my sister doesn't really like bling so I'm like okay bitch I'll put you some little bolas and maybe later I'll sneak in some bling. So since I do have four colors, I was like, okay, I'm going to do four little flowers. Even if they're not completely flores, they're going to be just little petalitos. And I like to put glue on top of the little balls so that they stay gold longer. And make sure to spray the activator. Or if you don't have activator, wait until the glue is completely dry before you use your brush. Um, to do the flowers because then if the glue still wet and you touch the bristles, they're gonna get hard. Y como que, y nobody got time to buy a new brush, okay? And so I'm gonna start with the baby blue color and I'm gonna do uh, the basic flower. Girl, don't even trip. I got you. I zoomed it in. Pa que den muy bien. So the trick of the flower is patience. Cuando están haciendo una, una flor de tercera dimensión, um, el secreto es paciencia, ¿ok? Le tienen que tener paciencia al petalito porque um, si lo 
aplastas muy rápido cuando no está seco no se te va a deformar el pétalo so you need to make sure that the little acrylic ball is a little bit more dry than wet if not the little petal is not going to stay in like the little form of a petal I'm just gonna let you guys look at the little 3D while, while I do the flowers so you guys don't have to like pay attention to me and to the nail because I thought this was super cute and it looks like a little huevito with little florecitas. All right, girlfriends, so now it's time for the bling bling. So we ended up doing one hand on Instagram Live and one hand I recorded it for you guys. So you're welcome, you're welcome. I did think about you guys. I know you guys will really enjoy this. Um, this little video, make sure to let me know in the comments if you really like the video. Should I do nails that are smaller? What size nails do you guys prefer? me working on um i kind of feel like the small ones are kind of cute you know but i personally prefer long long the longer the better bitch and so these little crystals are the ones that i was mentioning earlier um they are new to my website the one in the center it looks a little bit yellow on the nail but it's not it it's more like a transparent but once the light hits it it reflects like a yellow purple and I don't remember what other color, but it's really, really pretty. And I felt like it was going to be perfect for this set since we do have yellow in it. I decided to call it Sunshine Shimmer because it kind of looks a little yellow. But then when the sun hits it, it looks like other colors. Um, and then the little blue one is like a little blue opal. Perfect for this set. I felt like it looked like Easter vibes. So... If you guys do recreate this look, make sure to tag me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, subscribe, girlfriend. What you waiting for? Go subscribe. And give me a little thumbs up and a little comment. And I'm going to let you guys watch the other hand that I recorded on Instagram Live because I felt like our little chisme was kind of cool. So if you guys are fucking chismosas and you missed our Instagram Live, Stay tuned and watch the other the other part of the bling bling. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Stay alive and get a new one. Over here in Brooklyn, New York is 128 and love your work. Oh lord. Oh shit. It's late, girlfriend. You need to go to sleep. Hi Fernando. Hello from Arizona, I love you guys. You're so funny, my mom is also a twin. Oh my God, that is so amazing. Hey. I love, I love meeting twins. 
Me too, and because I feel like when we were younger, it was there was not that many. I know. I don't know if it's because there's bling in the background. Okay, it's not fucking focusing. There you go. What brush are you using? I'm using the Zule, um number two brush. The clear handle. Rain, I think we're gonna end up blinging you out because these are a little too basic. What? What? Who votes for me to put more bling on this bitch? Cause oh como que God. no más un dedo, como que no. They're like gorgeous. She had to get pounded the day of Valentine's for her to get that ring. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking Fernando. Cabrón. Se lo tuvo que ganar. <laughs> Kiara Diane, LOL, no problem. Glad I saw the comment that knows are beautiful. We appreciate all your help, girl. Thank you. Thank Let you guys it. for watching. Letty Cruz, beautiful ring right now. Congrats. Thank you. Stupid thing. Te voy a copiar. It's so cute. Copiale, copiale. El, el diseño o la, el anillo? Love the flowers, so cute. Oh, sure. Oh my god, what are you doing? I'm over here trying to zoom in your hand because I don't know why Instagram doesn't let me zoom. It looks good though. Yeah? Yeah, okay. it looks good. My phone is dark. Is it dying? Do you have the color acrylic on her website on her nails that yellow sparkle? Oh, yeah, Hold on. Um, fifty percent. This one? Um, this one? Yes, it's number seventy-three. The tanto que I fucking talked about it. Yeah, I know the number. Yeah, it's number seventy-three. It's from. It's the new one from my spring collection. I was gonna choose the pink one, but then I've already been doing pink nails for a while, so I was like, okay. Switch it up, bitch. Let me switch it up. Oh, fuck. Stupid little caviar shit fell. Are you guys from California? Yes, we are. Yes, it's still sub spray para que se para que seque el glue o no. Sí. Se seca sin el spray, pero el spray te ayuda para que se seque más rápido porque cuando hace frío. Glue, todo se seca más despacio y con las partículas del agua que están en el aire es porque se hace blanco. Here's another question. ¿El activador sirve también para secar el gel o solo la pega? No más glue, no gel. El gel es, um, se seca en lámpara de UV o LED. Ooh, so pretty. Linda Castillo, I like and support you and Mimi. Your bad, your baddie, your videos. Thank you, girlfriend. We appreciate it. Chicle coin. There you go, girl. It you already you know what I'm talking about, huh? She basic LOL. <laughs> We are about to make her fancy <laughs> up in here. Those, like, los chatones. No, hombre, esta se muere con un chatón. No, hell no. Me quedo calva. Pinche pelón, how was that? Hi, from Dallas. Oh, my God, how cold is it over there? Girl, it's freezing. We are about to use these little opals. I'm about to put them on my website, too, girl. So, this is like a little sneak peek to the new, new shit that we are about to put. I remember those coins, they came in little bags. Yes, they did. They did. And as a kid, I used to think those fucking um, chicles were the bomb. I would freaking put like three coins. Damn, so bitch. Time, like pretend they're bubblicious and shit. You like a pop, like a little ho ho, like pop. Mascar chicle como la mata en la nacaranda. Fuck, for real. <laughs> That one's a little too big. Let's put a smaller one. What is the one that you're using to pick up the gem? This one um, is a Zule pickup tool. Mine's all fucked up already. But 
This I've had this one for a very long time, so this is, you will see that it's an older logo, but whenever you get glue, I just file it with a nail file and girlfriend. You gotta pick again. Do you ship to Canada? I would love that box you use. Um, we do ship to Canada actually, but certain items are not updated yet. If you add the stuff to your car and it tells you like it doesn't ship, just message me and I'll change it for you. Is that the 3D brush? Zule 3D brush? Mm, the one that I was using, yeah. Hola, Joan, Joan Yvette from Florida with love. Hello. Hola. So cute. You guys sound so like it's crazy. What the fuck? We're twins. Yeah, that's why you sound the same. Well, I like. Is that glue? Hell yeah. Raina about to be bling the fuck out and she don't even know. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? But I'm not in there. Cheese, man. Like, oh, really? No, you'll see when we're done. Oh my god. Todos están diciendo bling aquí. Yes, a la verga chatones. No, cabrón. No, la pinche chatón no se puede. Esta muy grande. Se le quebra la mano a la chingada. 